four, you will get uh, these parameters. Okay, now let's come back our MATLAB. Fine. So let me first connect my mobile with the MATLAB. Fine. I have connected my mobile with the MATLAB. Fine. Now let's create a mobile object. So the M is equal to the mobile dev. Okay. Now you will see here it is connected is equal to the one. And uh, now I'm not logging any data. That's why it is a zero. And uh, there is no log so that the initial time stamp is empty. Okay. And the acceleration sensor enable is zero and the angular velocity sensor enable is zero. So the everything is disabled here. So we can now enable our sensor. Okay. So the, we can enable this one. Copy it. You can copy it just simply here. Copy paste. So here the M dot our acceleration sensor enabled. Acceleration sensor enabled is equal to the one. Now I have enabled my sensor. Okay, you want to see it, you can see it. The M is enabled, it is connected one. Okay, now it is enabled. Fine, but it is not logging. Okay, it is enabled, it is still not logging. Now we can log it. Okay, okay now let's start to log the accelerometer data. M dot logging is equal to the one. Now you can say it is connected and it is logging fine and the accelerometer is 0 cross 3 double now it didn't receive any data yet but it will receive very soon okay now now let's stop the logging not logging is equal to 0 okay so now it is stopped to log and the 340 value has been already logged from the accelerometer now let's read it in some variable, okay, the T and the A, and uh, it must be is equal to XL log, it is accelerometer log, and it is M, right? Now you can see here, the T and A has been already logged, okay? Right, this is the T, and now you can plot it, you can plot it, so the plot a versus t okay see here it is a plot here okay now you can see here uh, uh it is not showing uh, sorry 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 actually just uh, i changed it AT. Means it, it is logged, but uh, there is no variation because of that. The, my mobile was uh, my mobile was not moving. It was placed on my table. That's why it didn't log. It, it didn't showing any uh, difference here. Okay. Let me start one more time to log it. Okay. My MATLAB mobile is not connected to this computer. Let me see what happened here. Okay, now let's start to log. I have connected it. Fine. So it is start to log. Now I am moving my mobile. Okay, now let's start the logging. M dot logging is equal to the zero. Fine. 914 value has been already logged. So now read this logged value into the T and A. Actually, it must be coming to the A and the T. Okay. A and T. Accelerometer and the time. Fine. And then plot A versus T. And let's see. Yes. Now you can see here. I was moving my mobile at this place. Okay, before moving, my mobile was 
is 13 that's why it is giving here a constant data in accelerometer and here you can see it is z z axis this is a z that is around the 9.8 as you know the gravity is 9.8 okay now there is lots of uh, examples already available uh, there are three examples available in the matlab you can see all these examples from here just you need to click here and then click on the example and uh, we will get these three examples here okay so the, let's run for this first one example this is a choir and the plot the angular velocity and the orientation data from your android mobile okay just open it and you open the example right so this is a mobile sensor plotting a multiple sensors okay so in this uh, this was a connector on with my password that is the password fine mobile day and the, here the angular velocity sensor is enabled and the orientation sensor is enabled so we are enabling a two sensor here orientation and the angular velocity and then we will start to acquire the data and then it will wait for a 15 second and then it will stop the logging and then it is a reading those value that's been retrieving the log data and then plotting the values okay 